So this is my dog Daisy. She's lying in her bed that I've made and she lives under the stairs. Now it looks a bit dark in there but it's quite cosy and she actually likes it. It keeps her warm um, rather than when she used to sleep at the bottom of the stairs. And it's wintry now so she's got a nice draft proof area. So all we're missing is her bed. So let's go and make one. So let's make Daisy's bed and I'm going to use a mattress topper. The mattress topper was for a double bed. And now I folded it up twice to give me a one meter square. That one meter square fits beautifully into Daisy's bed, nice and padded around the edges as well. And then on top of that, I'm using this beautiful mattress protector. Now the mattress protector again was from Ikea. It's waterproof on one side, it's fluffy on the other, and it will keep Daisy warm. It will also keep the padding dry. So when she's been out swimming at the river, in the park or in the rain, the actual padding will keep dry and it's it will be the outer shell, which I will be making on top of this, that will need just stripping off and throwing into the washing machine and this will be perfect for her. So let's overlock this and make Daisy's bed. Just fold it in half and I've just prepared and made sure that all the sides are in uh, are equal. Just pop that in. So come off ever so slightly, needles up, come off the finger and then push your fabric back into the overlocker. So when you've done your two sides, what you can do then is flip it through and that will be the case for Daisy's bed. Right, next job. Okay, so the thing about the mattress topper is it's four layers of uh, padding that's going to go inside our case. So we need to keep it all together so it doesn't slip and slide inside while Daisy moves around. So we've got um, a pair of scissors, some string, and I've actually got uh, an old plastic chopping board which I'll use to protect my table. I'm going to drive the pair of scissors through the layers. Now you need to be really careful when you do this that you don't injure yourself. And just grab that there and then you want to feed if you can your string and catch it between each of the layers and then we'll just tie a tight knot okay let's do that again for all the corners Okay, once that's on, I can now just overlock the edge. So we'll just sew that down now, but because it's on the overlocker, I'm not going to turn it inside out because I've got the padding in. I'm going to just overlock the edge and leave that exposed. It's quite tricky because it's quite heavy. Bring the overlocker to us. <laughs> and we'll just go straight down from there and there we go there's daisy's new bed and i'll just put a cover over that which i can just overlock and add some snap buttons and there she'll have a new bed so there's daisy in her lovely comfy new bed <laughs>